Hello again, it's Lock Noob and Happy Christmas. It's actually Christmas Day. I've been super good and I've not touched this secret Santa present from uh, the UK Lock Sport Forum. So every year, uh, Secret Santa is organised and people can say, yes, I'd like to sign up. And then they everybody gives out a little package to a, a name and address given to them at random. And it's supposed to be anonymous. Uh, so I will... Even though I think I know who sent this, in fact, I know who sent this because they, they didn't remain too anonymous. I will keep them anonymous for the sake of the fact that it is supposed to be Secret Santa. Um, I've wrapped it in wrapping paper. You notice it's already been torn uh, because my uh, my little boy, um, who's four and a half, decided that uh, he would just go uh, rogue and start opening all the presents and then asking who they're for instead of uh, checking the names first. Um, anyway, uh, he didn't get too far. Um, so let's have a go. So, uh, yeah, this is the only lock-related present I think that I'll probably get today. Well, that's actually not true. My wife um, gave me a Christmas uh, stocking and in it was a awesome lock, which I'll save for another video. Okay, so here we go. Um, now, I've not actually looked inside this other than removing... Um, various notes and bits and bobs, which is why I still got some tape on. Um, so, here we go. Okay. Ah. Luckily, the, there's a, there was a card and a note and they were at the top. Um, wow, how am, I going to, how am I going to even attempt to show you what all this is? Let's move the camera back a bit. Okay. <laughs> I think I know what this is. Okay, right. If anybody, if any of you have seen um, one of my more bizarre videos, you'll have seen these. Oh my goodness! Look at this. I don't know whether you can really get the scale of this, but this is um, a full eight times Plowman's lunches. Um, so, what's normally what what these are is that they're hung up on. A, uh, I'll see if I can zoom out a bit and get the, the full majesty of this. Look at that. There you go. So this is normally hung up um, behind a pub. Can you see that? I've got eight plans lunches. That is absolutely epic. I mean, on its own, that would be like the best Secret Santa present um, anybody could have probably ever got me. That is absolutely superb. But there are actually more things in this... Um, box. So let's let's have a look at that. That's that's amazing. In fact, um, I was going to put take these bits out of the box because he's get a camera and put this down here. Okay. So what else have we got? Um, oh, South Thord C five hundred C five hundred. So C series of five hundred. Don't know that kit, but. Those aren't Southall, those are <laughs> Mad Bob. Wow. Do you know what? I actually mentioned on um, the forum the other day that I, or, or somewhere, might have been my YouTube channel, that I don't actually have any Mad Bob picks. And that I regretted getting um, the um, Dangerfield set, which uh, this one looks like it is one of. Uh, and the reason why is because I believe, and I could be wrong here, but uh, but the Dangerfield kit um, is pretty much a direct copy of the Mad Bob kit. Now, I don't know the history behind it. I don't want to make any allegations, but um, if what I'm led to believe is true, I wish I'd gone for the Mad Bob kit. So this is my this is my first Mad Bob picks actually, and yeah, they really are finished as well as people say. Very nicely finished. Very nice. So wow, thank you so much, Secret Santa. Isn't that epic? So not only have I got eight plans lunches, I've got my first Mad Bob picks. Uh, you think by now I'd have had a load of Mad Bob picks, but it's just not true. I don't have any. Love them, especially I'm starting to really like the uh, Deforest Half Ball. Okay, that's awesome. <coughs> oh dear, I think I'm getting a cold. And we're still not finished. 
Whisper Gold um, for our American cousins. Uh, these are absolutely awesome. So it's it's um, chocolate, which is aerated. So um, it's it's all got bubbles in. Uh, Cadbury's being uh, basically Britain's favourite chocolate. And then inside that is a layer of caramel, and I love caramel chocolate. I don't know how the person who sent the Secret Santa knows, but um, yeah, I, I absolutely mad for caramel, especially Cadbury's and caramel together. In fact, the Cadbury's caramel bar, it's a thing, is one of my favourites. So that is awesome too. Ooh, Plowman's Lunch and a Cadbury's caramel. That's better than Christmas dinner, isn't it? Uh, what else do we have? And then, this is um, proper greaseproof paper. Ooh, Starlock or Starlock or STA Lock. I don't know how you pronounce it. J155. Brand new by the looks of things. Looks like it's um, got a little bit of bloom there from storage, but other than that, yeah, brand new. Um, I don't know if they still make STA Lock Star Locks anymore. I don't know. But that's a good keyway. That's quite like that. Uh, that's a one, two, three, four, five pin. So a little five pin. Um, I've heard that these can actually be relatively tricky picks, so these might come with me later today to be picked. Nice bitting on them as well, all things considered. So what we've got, we've got uh, two, I think, are the same. These are, uh, I'd say, 40 millimeter padlocks, those ones, and a little 30 mil padlock there. Yeah. Just need a little bit of brasso or um, or metal cleaner on the shackles. Other than that, good to go. Love it. Yeah, can't can't go much better than that. So, chocolates, locks, lock picks, and uh, plowman's lunches over the moon. So there you go. Um, thank you, Secret Santa. Uh, you absolutely nailed it. Um, I don't think I could have asked for anything better than this. And I'm gonna have really good fun today uh, picking these. I'm going to, that's gonna be my uh, Christmas locks to have a pick with. And everybody else, have a great holiday. Happy Christmas. Um, eat too much, drink too much, have lots of festivities. And I will see you next time. <laughs>